cosmic highway that runs through the middle of our solar system. This is exactly what researchers have discovered. We take a look at the spectacular images and find out who is driving on this highway and how it came about. So be sure to stay tuned until the end, and if you like it I'd be galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you friends, and welcome. Who of you knows the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, it's mentioned there that the Earth has to be blown up in order to build a galactic bypass road. Makes sense. And as we now know, it's not that far-fetched, because scientists have discovered a cosmic highway that runs through our solar system. But I can already hear some of you asking angrily, Has Tim gone completely mad now? Yes, but that has nothing to do with the topic, because it really is true and the cause is spacefolds. The somewhat heavier among us know this. Masses bend space-time, and every planet in our solar system causes a spacefold by denting space-time with its mass. The most massive space-time dent is of course caused by our Sun, which accounts for no less than 99% of the mass of the system. Directly behind this is my space-time dent after the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Chinese restaurant. Among the planets, Jupiter has the greatest influence as it is the most massive body in the solar system next to the Sun. The space folds created by Jupiter are super powerful and control the movement of comets and asteroids in our neighborhood. It is therefore often said that Jupiter protects us from asteroids because it keeps them trapped in its space folds, whereas they might otherwise have caused an apocalypse on Earth. Reason enough to thank Jupiter. Why don't you all write thank you Jupiter in the comments Without the old fatso, we might not even exist anymore. Wait a second! I'm not big bone, I'm just fat! A team of researchers from the University of Belgrade in Serbia has discovered that these space folds are particularly strong near Jupiter's Lagrange points. Lagrange points are areas of relative gravitational stability created by the interaction between two orbiting bodies. The James Webb Telescope, for example, is located at Lagrange point 2 between the Earth and the Sun, where the interacting gravitational forces of the Earth and the Sun cancel each other out, and James Webb can remain there. In this case, it is Jupiter and the Sun that create these Lagrange points and thus form the spacefolds. And here's the thing. As the Serbian researchers discovered, each planet in the solar system has its own spacefold, which together form a network that the researchers referred to as a celestial highway they write in their study. Spacefolds serve as boundaries of dynamic channels that enable rapid transportation to the innermost and outermost regions of the solar system. To detect the presence and structure of the spacefolds, the team used the so-called FAST Lyapunov indicator, or FLI for short, which is used to detect chaotic systems. The scientists carried out simulations to calculate how the orbits of particles heading for different planets such as Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune can be influenced by possible collisions in spacefolds. And the astonishing result, such interplanetary particles and even larger celestial bodies, such as comets and asteroids, travel on a fixed path through the solar system and interplanetary highway. So we can say that this celestial highway is a system of invisible structures created by the gravitational interaction in the solar system. And the structures are so powerful that they can accelerate the movement of objects in space. And this realization has very concrete implications, for example, for asteroid research. You probably know the feeling. You wake up in the morning and are terrified that a massive asteroid is going to destroy the Earth today. It happens to me every morning. There's one less reason for this, because our knowledge of the cosmic highway helps us to better understand these celestial bodies. These space objects roam the solar system on their orbits and their movements can be difficult to predict. Thanks to the discovery of the Celestial Highway, researchers can now develop a more precise idea of how comets and asteroids travel through the solar system and what dangers they could then pose to Earth. If only dinosaurs had spent a little more money on researching the Cosmic Highway. Those losers, the space folds created by Jupiter, have a particularly strong influence on the movement of Jupiter family comets, JFC for short, and centaurs.
JFCs are comets with orbital periods of less than 20 years that move no further than the orbit of Jupiter. Centaurs are icy chunks of rock that reside between Jupiter and Neptune, and these objects are all trapped in the folds of space around Jupiter, speeding along the cosmic highway. The researchers found that some of these objects are on a collision course with Jupiter, while others are ejected from the solar system. And those that are ejected can achieve amazingly fast escape orbits and reach the outer reaches of the solar system in a super short time. Some reach Uranus and Neptune in just a few decades, while others reach the incredible distance of 100 astronomical units in less than 100 years, which is more than twice the average distance from Pluto to the Sun. So these asteroids and comets are really speeding along the cosmic highway. Well, at least until some politician wants to introduce a speed limit in space. And the really exciting thing about this discovery is that we can use this space highway for space travel. Why send probes at a snail's pace on the lame solar system highway when you could send them hurtling down the interplanetary highway at full speed? The ability to use these fast routes through the solar system could actually allow spacecraft to travel faster and therefore more efficiently, and this could really shorten the duration of space missions considerably and also reduce energy consumption. That makes a big difference, because with missions to Pluto, for example, we are talking about very lengthy undertakings that take years. The Horizon probe was launched in 2006 and only arrived at Pluto in 2015. With the knowledge of the Solar System Highway, it might have been possible to do this more quickly. In future, the use of the Celestial Highway will therefore make exploration of the outer solar system much easier, and perhaps also pave the way for the first missions that can leave the solar system completely. The Voyager probes may have passed the heliopause, the area where the solar wind stops displacing interstellar material, but by most definitions, they are still within the solar system. And that will remain the case for a while yet. Future missions will of course still take a long time by human standards to leave the solar system, but it may be a little quicker thanks to the highway. And that's exactly why I always say, free travel for free probes. To ensure that my YouTube channel also gets a free ride, I would be galactically happy if you would subscribe to it now. Because I know from the YouTube statistics that more than half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another galactic video and you'll help me immensely. So everyone, press the subscribe button. Thank you very, very much. We have not only found strange structures around the solar system, but also on Earth. Researchers have found a mysterious superstructure under the Pacific Ocean that is older than the dinosaurs. You can find out all about it and see spectacular images of this structure in the next video so be sure to watch it again. And if you want to support my work, I look forward to your visit to the Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.